everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, I have a small unboxing. I'm pretty sure you guys know what is inside. I want to go over the YSL fragrance that I bought, that Gucci bag you guys saw in my stories, and just some more information that I think you guys would like to know. But before we get started, make sure you view my past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. girl got the tea so now let's talk lv after we go over the handbag of the day and the outfit that i slayed the handbag of course is this beautiful speedy 25 bandolier from the wild at heart collection i absolutely love having this handbag in my collection and i absolutely adore it gold hardware of course my favorite part the extended zipper I love the print that they added on both sides. Also with the black logo here hiding and peeking, you know, within the print. I just think it's so gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. On front leather, tote handle. I love the added decor. I hear a lot of people dislike, you know, the added decor on the tote handles. I love it. I love it. I love the splash of white that's added. Of course, I still feel that the Speedy should have gold hardware feet at the bottom. Any handbag that's actually a tote, I feel need gold hardware. Comes with a leather strap, detachable and adjustable. I added today because I just want that, you know, that classy look. And I just feel like it's just supposed to be like this. It's the bougie way. I had a meeting at the bank. I also wore my open toe red bottom heels. And I just I just love it, guys. I, I, I love it. I love this simple sleigh. Matching LV belt. Top is from TJ Maxx. You guys know how I feel about button downs. Tucked in at the front. Tail hanging at the back. Also, I paired with these vintage blue jeans. The brand I will leave in the description box. And so this was the outfit of the day and the handbag of the day as well. And I know you guys see the beautiful Passy. I just miss her. <laughs> so I just hung her up here. I absolutely miss her and she was just asking for attention. And so I hung her right here, of course. And I also switched to the flat mules because there's no way I was going to wear these all day. So the outfit of the day and the handbag. Okay guys, so let's get into this combo, this tea. After we go over this quick unboxing, I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly what's inside. I did show it on my stories and I want to go over this fragrance here from YSL. So let's unbox, you know what, no. Let's do <laughs> the fragrance first because I am going to chit chat about um, what's inside for just a little bit. So I've never, 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 never had a fragrance from YSL. So I wanted to actually try. Okay, it's called the Mun Paris from YSL. YSL have so many fragrances, and the thing I don't understand is the bottles. Like, all look the same. I know LV bottles all look the same, but I couldn't tell what was what, honestly, guys. So, here it is. And, first of all, the bottle is the bomb. It's just bougie. And you guys know I love the bougie look, okay? <laughs> so, here it is. And I love this fragrance. Very, very, to me, it's very sweet. 
it's sweet but it's it's loud like once i sprayed it in the store she was spraying it on cars and once i sprayed it you know i did the tester and i sprayed it a woman walked by and she's like that's it what is that and i was like you know what and my husband he was like i don't know why you're trying anything else this is it so guys i am going to try i didn't try it today because i had my apology on today but i am going to try this tomorrow but i love the look i do i love the look and the smell it's amazing so if you do have this fragrance let me know how you feel how long does it last that was my issue okay that's my issue how long does the fragrance last okay so here it is mun pears from ysl and they have one that looks exactly like this and the only difference is the color okay this one is a purple lavender color and the other one of course is like a, a champagne color so if you do have this let me know in the comments how long does the smell last that is so so important to me and i believe i paid it was like a hundred and something because my husband he bought a fragrance and all together it was like 350 dollars so it was very, very affordable. Okay. And I am building my fragrance collection, guys. If you have any fragrance that you feel like I need to try, please let me know. Because I am actually going to convert in here a wall just for my fragrance. I love, I love different perfumes. I really, really do. Okay, so here is the box. Very small. And I am just going to take the ribbon off like this. I have been wanting these for at least a year. And so, I, I am so excited, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, two small dust bags. And the first one. Here they are. Oh, my God. I am so so excited i did tell you guys i was not going to order any more fashion jewelry from lv but i couldn't resist i i couldn't i had to pay for these i have been wanting these for a while i didn't want to order online yes it is placed in my cart but i just kept asking like my ca hey do you have them at the shop do you have them at the boutique because i wanted them right then and there i didn't want to order them went to austin and guys i saw them in there and it was the last pair i was going to settle for the smaller loop lv loop pictured here i was going to just buy these here and i was like you know what my ca have them in the you know in the store let me just get them because she never had these in the galleria in houston i couldn't find them and so i was going to settle for these in the austin boutique they had these as well but once i saw these i was sold um let me get a price on these for you okay so for the larger loop they're louise who earrings product code number m 64288 they're 715 dollars with tax seven hundred and seventy three dollars and ninety nine cents these earrings are more than the brazo wallet <laughs> i wanted the brazo wallet in monogram but it's placed in cart and they didn't have the brazo wallet that's actually why i went into the lv store and they didn't have the brazo wallet but they did have these and so i wasn't leaving without them i wasn't leaving as you guys can see i already have on the circle lv hoop earrings these are small and i love them because it's silver and gold hardware meaning i can wear silver as you guys can see the nano necklace it has a silver tag and it also has a gold tag which uh pairs perfectly with these earrings okay and so i am going to put these on for you guys and also a lot of people ask are they heavy when i tried them on in the store i only had them on for a few minutes 
So I couldn't honestly tell you if it was like really, really heavy because I only had one. I just tried them on. And so I don't know, but I will give you guys an update. But when I tried them on, it wasn't heavy at all. But I love it because I do have short hair and these are the biggest I've ever had. The biggest earrings, guys, I'm telling you now. This is like my size, <laughs> but hey, change is good. Trying something different, trying something new. And I do feel these are the same size as my head, okay? <laughs> but here they are. And no, they are not heavy. Guys, I am really going to have to get used to this because I really feel like these are so huge. <laughs> I do. I feel like they're the size of my head, so... I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to keep them regardless. I just have to get used to it. Change is good. But what do you think? Okay. <laughs> so I am going to take these off for the video. Because I have to get used to them. I have to get used to them. But I have been wanting them for a while. And I am happy that I finally have them if you have these louise hoop earrings let me know in the comments okay guys i'm happy i am a lot of guys ask why i smile so much just life just life in general so okay now this is what i'm talking about okay so these beauties here And I was speaking with him about the fading on the fashion jewelry. Yes, guys, it does take some time to fade. But, hey, it is what it is. That's what we pay for. You get what you pay for. So, let's move on to this beautiful Gucci handbag that I tried on in the store. I tried to record as much as possible. The manager, he did see me um, recording because I was actually with a sales rep at first and something happened. It was an emergency. She was okay, okay, with the recording. That's how I honestly got, you know, that small video. Once she changed over, sent the manager over, my husband was getting his belt and his hat and he saw me recording and he just politely asked me, you know, he told me and he told me why, of course, he told me why they basically said because of the resellers. I don't know how they are hiding. What are they hiding? I don't know, but they said because of the resellers that come in. Okay. But I just feel like, Hey, if people purchase, they purchase, that's their business. But I, I stopped immediately because he was still very sweet. He did his job and I understand, you know, business is business. This handbag is amazing. It's amazing the creativity that Gucci added. Gucci, hey, I, I, I don't know. I don't know because you know, I am team YSL, I'm team LV. I have never just been into Gucci like that. Then just my recent experience with the Jumbo Diana, which I understand things happened. The customer service was amazing. Bag is sent back. This bag is gorgeous. Does it compare to the Loot Gym? In my opinion, no. They're both just hobo bags. They both can be converted into hobo bags. There's no comparison. To me, in my opinion, that's just it both different i asked my husband i was just like which one is better he didn't hesitate he said the lv loop gm he is wild by that bag he really is he is wild by that bag so i am going to do a comparison i just wait just wait there is going to be a comparison video for you guys the gucci bag is hot Silver hardware, it comes with two straps, okay? It comes with a guitar strap, and it also comes with a leather strap. I showed you guys here. The bag is amazing. It comes as a brown Gucci bag or with the blue print, the navy print. The brown, I was like, I already have a lot of, you know, monogram LV in my collection. And to me, the blue just, it just stands out way 
better it does it, it stands out better and so the blue is is the thing guys the navy that's it okay i'm just being honest with you i'm trying to be careful i'm trying to choose my words carefully but there is going to be a comparison between the loop gm and this beautiful gucci handbag the handbag can be worn so many ways but my favorite way is the tote once you convert it's the tote you will have an issue getting into the bag once you do convert, okay? So, the tote is just for a look. You cannot get into that bag once it is converted into a tote. You will have to unlatch, which is okay. It's just like getting inside of a bag and getting out. You just have to unlatch and then unzip. I have no issues with that because that is honestly my favorite way to carry this handbag and you guys are going to see soon <laughs> so guys i'm telling you now gucci is moving up they're moving up I, I am so happy to be trying different luxury brands guys i am so excited i wasn't even going in there for anything honestly i i really wasn't my husband wanted a gucci a monogram gucci hat a belt he wanted to see was out of stock online we went in that is the first bag i saw on the shelves and i was like wow so it does come in two sizes a small size and this large size here but the small size for the amount you have to pay i believe it was like twenty six hundred dollars i believe like twenty six hundred dollars yeah like twenty six hundred dollars but the larger tote was like three thousand dollars the gym, Loop Gym is $3,000 and this beautiful Gucci handbag is $3,000. Similar because of, you know, them being a hobo bag, but different in so many ways. They serve two different purposes, not the same handbag. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm not trying to listen to it at all. <laughs> okay, there's no comparison to me at all. Might be to you, not to me, but you guys are going to see very soon. I need both of these handbags, so I'm going to do another video soon, <laughs> okay? So, guys, I wanted to get on here and tell you I enjoy going to Austin so much. I initially went out there to teach a private business class um, for a company. I wanted to record, but emotions just got the best of some of the students. And when I say in, it wasn't in a bad way, in a good way, I love for people to want to learn and I love being the person to teach. And I just didn't want to record them at that time. And I kind of knew it was going to happen because when I was actually setting up, they were just so happy and appreciative that I was there. And I was like, you know what? No, some things don't need to be shown. And I am so happy. It was intimate. It was like, hey, like they were just appreciative and just happy to learn. And so I think I'm going to take it on the road. I really am. I did it in 2019, 2020. COVID, you know, came upon us. And so I, I stopped the traveling and teaching. I don't know what city, what state, where I'm going to, you know, come next. But guys, you let me know if you feel like you are ready for that next move if you are ready to start your business i am here to help i am a mentor i am a coach i show you how to find your vendors basically how to start what is needed what banks to use your credit how to build business credit and so on but this channel is not for this so i just want to let you guys know i am a business coach and that is why i went to austin but I am going to visit Austin again. Hey, I'm in Houston. It was only like two hours and 30 minutes to get there. And I can't believe I haven't been there more than twice. I've been there twice. My son had a sporting event and for this uh, mentor class. And I'm going again. I had a good time. I had a good time. Restaurants were nice. And the shopping and the customer service I received from LV... Oh my God, it was amazing. It's it's nothing like Houston. <laughs> I want to cancel everything here and go and shop at LV there, okay? So guys, I just want to get on here and tell you how appreciative I am of you guys. We are almost at 20K. So you know, 
it's a giveaway a giveaway is coming soon okay i don't know what i'm going to give away but it's going to be something and i thank you guys all for the love and the support i am still going to get my bras and wallet i still need my desk agenda in the mm size there's like three things i need and no, it's like four it's it's too much. I got to update my wish list too, guys. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in so much, guys. And make sure you guys go check out TJ Maxx. Their button downs, amazing quality. I love them so, so much in their jeans. As always, stay safe and stay blessed. Let me know if you have this fragrance. Until next video, bye-bye.